Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is time to get back on the heller. I have wasted enough time um, not working on it. Ran into a couple of snags. I'll show them to you in a second. Nothing real major at all. Uh, it's a good kit. I just uh, got focused on some other stuff. The Woody, the USAC build, and these things are, I don't know, still your focus, right? So this is what I'm back on. Back on the heller. Going to get it finished. This is Saturday. The Saturday before Acme. Um, what's today's date? The 29th? Possibly? Yep, 29th. That's what it is. So today's October the 29th. I don't know when I'll get this video out. But anyway, that's what, when it is now. And uh, excited about going to Acme. <laughs> I'm um, seeing all my friends, um, and it's going to be a great time. Heather, uh, Ruthie, and Ellie are going to be with me, and uh, it's just going to be a great time. Going to get up there Friday afternoon, uh, meet up at the hotel, at the host hotel, see everybody, go out to eat with some friends, uh, go to the show on Saturday, and just make a big day of it. But um, can't wait to see all of you guys who are going to be there. If you hadn't decided to go and you live close enough, drive the uh, next Saturday the 5th or the 6th. I don't remember if it's 5th or the 6th, but anyway. Next Saturday, today's again the 29th of October. Uh, first Saturday of November. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get with this. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you a couple things that I've done um, to correct that problem that I had. And uh, yeah, hold on, stand by. All right, so the last video that I did on this was um i think i had put in the clear side panels door panels and as i was doing all that i broke the body back apart where i had where i had um uh, glued it and it's very frustrating because i worked really hard to get this rumble seat door to fit in there now i've got to probably do some sanding again that's okay part of it um what did i do to fix it besides just you can't really just glue those pieces together because they're so small and there's not a lot of contact. They just pop right apart. So what I did is I cut some really thin sheet styrene that I acquired from uh, my friend Kevin Morgan. His uh, wife let me get that stuff and there was some little thin sheet styrene and I was able to, to cut some and get it in there and uh, glue that in place. Now she's very very stout so now i can do some sanding on it without the threat of it breaking off um man this 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 kit has really dragged too long one thing that i did mention before is on the box let me grab it about the chrome around the window so if you'll notice around the front windshield it's chrome and around the doors and I already cut the darn glass out because that's where the chrome would have been. Oh, well, it's not going to have chrome around the glass or around the, uh, the doors, but on the front, I was looking at the body and it doesn't have really a line, a chrome line for where I could put bare metal foil. And I thought well, I'd just have to free hand a line. Well, come to find out on the, uh, on the windshield here, it is. Let's see if I can focus in on that on the windshield itself it's got you see that raised so when you when you put the window in you actually the chrome is actually on the window oops so there's that frame that's in the window on the window frame so i'll i'll bare metal foil that and then when it goes in there you don't have to worry about that because i wasn't clear on how i was going to, anyway that's problem solved easy thanks heller you made it easy on me. Um, but yeah, that, what I'm about to do now, I gotta get some, uh, I've already got my wheels. I, I like to take a piece of tape and double it over and uh, that's how I'll paint my wheels. So I got my wheels on there. Um, the under portion, this, I think I'm going to go with the color of the box art, um, pretty close, something like that. I'm gonna do gloss black on the fenders, the lower portion and on the body. I'm going to find a cream of some sort, maybe a more of a yellow. I really like, I've mentioned this before in the past. It sounds like a rerun broken record, but I like box art. Um, 
they got it right. Uh, that, that looks really nice. Um, the wheels, same color as the body, but the fender's gloss black. I, they got that right. That lo this looks really nice. So I'm going to go in that same direction. So I'm going to go ahead and paint or get the, uh, the, the, this primered. Uh, all my other parts, my seats, my, here's my hood panels. They'll be body color. Um, I'll get all these things prepped, primered, sanded on this. Uh, the engine, I got to kind of figure a color on that. Some guys had enlightened me on what color Heller engines were, and I'll try to find those messages. I cannot remember who sent them, but anyway, get this stuff painted up. So let's get started. Get this thing complete. Stand by. So I've got the paint on the uh, on the body. Got the chassis painted. It's all nice and flat blacked. I did go back on the steering column and shoot it with um, some semi-gloss black. These are Tamiya paints that I painted the chassis with. They dry so fast. I did that. Um, the seats I went ahead and shot black on because I'm going to go over them probably with the uh, Model Masters leather that I have. It, it's a it's a great paint that looks looks like leather. And then the um, fenders and the body turned out perfect with the uh, Mr. Color. Where's it at? Mr. Hobby. Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color. Isn't that the same company? I think it's Gunsy that owns those. But anyway. Uh, the Mr. Surfacer 1000, it's a, uh, it's a primer, mix 50-50, turned out absolutely awesome. Actually, the seams um, in the back of the, it did a great job of actually filling. Let's see if I can get this to come in. Let me touch my screen right there. So I had that gap in the back, and it pretty well filled it in. And... Uh, no, I'll never get the focus back. So it's looking really good. So I'm going to get the black paint, the uh, gloss black for the fenders. It's going to be MCW gloss black. I've got it right. That's semi-gloss. Here it is. Gloss black right here, MCW. going to shoot that on the fenders. And um, the body, I haven't found the color yet. I, I feel like I'm a little high. I mean, that's easy. So I haven't found the body color yet, but I've got a plethora of paints from MCW. And I've also got about a half a, half a plethora of <laughs> paints from, from Tamiya. That's funny. But anyway, I'm going to go through those. I'm going to find, I want to find some sort of cream color. Um, and dab a little yellow into it because I want a yellow with a cream color. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some paint on this sucker and we're going to end this video. That's what we're going to do. All right, let me get with it. All right, so <clears throat> I'm looking for, dang, I'm going to be too close to this color. Looking, I don't have this color. When I say looking for, I'm going to, I'm going to try and replicate this color. So I've got, I'm a starting with butternut yellow, butternut yellow. I already had it shook up. It's a light yellow color. But it's already got yellow. I was going to start with white and then add yellow and all this stuff, but there's no sense in doing that. So I'll get some pipettes. I'm going to start with some uh, butternut yellow and then gloss black. But this butternut yellow is already gloss. It's a uh, number 6505E, butternut yellow gloss enamel. So I'm going to go ahead... All right, so I'm going to go forewarn you, if you decide to mix paint, you better mix more than you need because you don't want to run out. 
you don't want to have a custom mix that you don't have any idea how much of this you put in this and you just run out of paint and you have to try and you have to redo the whole darn thing because you need a little uh, a shot and, and you didn't have it so we're going to go we're going to open this butternut yellow we've already mixed it's already been shaken the mcw paints come with ball bearings inside them i think they're ball bearings and uh they're very easily mixed there's two oops two four now you're going to double this because you're going to add um you're going to add a solvent or a thinner so you're going to double this that's two four six right there that's six milliliters all i'm painting is the body the hood and the rims and the grill so i'm gonna oops i've made a dang mess so that's all i have a napkin around here that's all we're going to be uh painting with this color but you don't want to short yourself and not have enough paint is cheap six dollars is uh let, let's do i did six let's do eight milliliters of of uh of yellow that's going to double that's going to be 16 at the minimum if I didn't add the black, but I'm, I'm going to wipe this off because you guys, if you don't wipe the edge of this, you are going to weld that thing on there shut. The next time you're going to have to have some channel locks to get it off. So wipe that off. Oh man. Well, that was a waste of time because the lid's completely covered. Oh, well I have channel locks. All right. And now the gloss black you Hear the ball bearing MCW, man. It's awesome. Get that thing shook up. I need a paint shaker. I want to try and tag gum. I need the channel locks already. So I actually do have a small pair of channel locks. So let me tell you, recently I opened a bottle with of hardener and I shattered that sucker and it cut my hand. So you be very careful. Just a little, it only took a little bit to get that open. Back on the magnet. All right, so now we're going to, I've had this gloss black open before, so you can see it's already, I'm gonna do one. No, we're gonna start with drops. Let's do one. Oh, you can't see anything. One, two, three, four drops. That's all we're gonna do. Now we're gonna take the trusty toothpick that I always use to for everything. Toothpicks are so awesome. We're going to stir, wow, four drops. Really darkened the heck out of that yellow. But I think it might be getting in the direction I want. So four drops. You be careful with the dark paints. They will kill the light paint, the light paints in a hurry. And you will think, what the heck? Now i got to add six more drops or six more milliliters of yellow. Okay, this is looking really good. It's not looking near as... It's almost... What's this, a green or something? Okay, stand by, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some MCW Yellow. We're going to put a couple drops. All right, MCW Yellow number 6551E. Gloss enamel, it's just yellow. We're going to add, oh man. We're going to add a few drops of this. How do you do that, Matthew? How do you add drops? I don't want to burn up a pipette here. So I'm just going to dip a toothpick in here. Bury that toothpick. Drip, 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 drip. And one more time. Drip, 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 drip. Okay. Let's mix. Let's see what... It takes a lot more light paint to lighten up dark paint than it takes dark paint to darken up light paint. So... Always remember that. Be very gentle. Don't do as much as I did because I already went too far. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six. This MCW yellow is a very soft yellow, so it's not it's not a super strong yellow like a uh, one from a uh, testers. 
Okay, Matthew, we're going to get more strength than that. All right, we're going with the pipette this time. Okay, toothpick didn't do it, pipette. All right, let's go. Let's go half. It's got the marks on the pipettes. Half a milliliter. That ain't going to do it. We're going to do another half. So that would be one milliliter extra plus all the drops that I did. And now let's see. You can't really tell, honestly. But you know what? What would I put in this? This almost looks green. That's what I'm not getting. I put black in in uh, butternut yellow and it almost turned to green color. What do I need to put? I, You know what I think I need to do? You don't know what the heck you're doing, do you, Matthew? No, actually, you're absolutely right if you said that because I ain't got a dang clue. I'm going to put a drop of orange. I'm going to go find an orange and we're going to put a little orange. We want this color here. And I got this color here and that looks like vomit and vomit is not what I'm going for. So I'm gonna, I think a shot of orange or maybe red. Be right back. All right, before I go busting into a new bottle of MCW paint, I keep my open bottles that I didn't use all right here. So I've got Chevy engine red, bright red, Chevy. I think Chevy engine red will be the ticket. That's gonna get us where we wanna be. Just a couple of drops ball bearings inside the mcw paint doing its job and here we go and that opened up great too that didn't it? i must have wiped this lid off because that thing opened right up all right we're going to toothpick this we're not wanting to overpower so we're going to do a toothpick it's not very deep in there it's about a quarter of the way up so we're going to get a drop and come on baby come on two drops let's see what two drops does matthew you're dragging this video out well, heck, if I, I don't know what I'm doing, so I mean, I gotta do something. Uh oh, there's the, there's the phone. That's my nephew Tyler calling, the one with the uh, lightning Ford Lightning at, that that took so long to work on. I'll call him back. Okay, one, and that this this orange is making the the difference. Well, that didn't do anything. Two. Okay, we're gonna get some paint sprayed. Okay, I think we are where we want to be. That gate gave us a little color, kept us out of the vomit stage. Yep, I think we're there. All right, let's. We'll cut this fifty percent with Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, so that will double our paint volume. And uh, yep, that's it. I'm gonna call Tyler, close up all these, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so just a quick heads up. This segment comes two weeks, it seems like, since I painted this thing. Um, I painted it before Acme. Uh, got re everything ready for Acme. Went to Acme, came back. Now it's the next week after Acme. So this video has taken way too long. 
And uh, okay, but the last segment that I did, I was painting the uh, the body and the uh, fenders. They're done. Um, I gotta hand it to MCW Paint. I like it better. It lays down. It's a it's a more glossy finish to me than the Tamiya paint because I used Tamiya lacquer black. Um, it's a gloss, but it didn't. I I I'll I'll be honest with you guys. You get a shinier gloss with the MCW, in my personal opinion. I'm, I'm not familiar with the Tamiya's though, but anyway, got that done. I'll have to do some buffing on the, uh, I don't want like a ultra shiny paint job because again, older, older cars would have had a, um, a, well, a more dull finish. It wouldn't have been quite as shiny. And now this is a European car. I don't know how shiny their paint jobs were, but I think probably across the board they were weren't like today's multi, uh, you know, base coat, clear coat, and depth and all. So this would get a little buffing, but not buffing, buffing, but it's, uh, it's looking good. Uh, the paint did not uh, end up being as yellow tinted as I was thinking, but it looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look nice. I did get the engine painted just a green that I mixed up. Let me get to focus on, on the engine. So I did get the uh, it painted green, but I'm going to put a lot of black wash and obviously detail paint the other pieces to it. Um, oil filters, spark plugs. Uh, so all those will have detail painting, carburetor, and a lot of black wash. So it will really bring out the shadowing effect of it. Um, but that oh in the grill so the grill had you know it had the uh, i'm trying to get the focus on that the grill had the grill had you stupid camera all right there we go it it's got the okay you see i, I taped it off and painted it it's it's going to this camera tries to figure out what you're looking at but it's not what i'm looking at um so anyway the the grill turned out nice i taped it off painted it and that's going to match really nice with the hood i already put some black wash in it needs another another black washing just to give it a little bit more um color so i'm going to really get busy with this thing but unfortunately i'm going to end this video here um i don't want to uh, my, long videos tend to bore people and i don't want to bore anybody and i don't want to stretch a video out like 10 parts either so let's just go ahead and end this here when we come back on the next video we're going to have some detail painting done we're going to have all these things that i was talking about as well as the uh the seats I just went ahead and painted a black um, flat black on the seats so then I can spray it with a um, leather or a, uh, a a color that goes over it with that back that black base coat those creases it's going to leave a nice shadowing effect and uh, that's what I'm looking for so with that said thank you guys so much um, for watching um, let me mention a little something about Acme, although this video like started way before it. Now it's just way after it. Um, Acme was a blast. I'm going to do a video on going to Acme, but, um, it was cool meeting so many of you guys and, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, I can't wait till next year. Maybe see you guys at some other shows, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please do so. It, I, it helps me a lot and check out Hobby Nut Models where both the Tamiya and the MCW paint came from, go check Mark's uh, inventory out there at hobbynutmodels.com. It's in the description of the video. Go check out the Facebook group. Appreciation to the, you guys who buy t-shirts and stickers and things. And also to my Patreon members, a big thank you to all of you guys. And uh, hey, we're done with this one. Not the kit, but the video's done. We'll be back soon, I promise. Um, I got to be soon because I got to finish this one before I can get back over on my USACC build. Uh, I got to get on that. There is no progress at all done to it. 
because I want to finish this build first. So guys, thanks for watching and we will see you when this thing is ready to be driven. I'd love to drive a car like this. Wouldn't that be cool? I've never even seen one in real life, but anyway, I got one as a kid. We'll put her on the shelf. All right guys, you take care, bye.